Ang Scarborough Show ay lagi tong pinagtatalunan o ang tinatawag na West Philippine Sea. Ito ay laging pinagtatalunan kung sino ba talaga ang nagmamayari o sino bang may karapatan o sino ba ang dapat na andito. Pero sa, hindi lingit sa, sa ating mga kaalaman na ayon sa batas ng karagatan o the law of the sea ay lahat dito ay ginawang traditional ground ng both Philippines, China, Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia at iba pang mga karatig bansa na malapit dito. Ang West Philippine Sea ay nahati ang mga opinion ng mga Pilipino. Opinion lamang o pananaw nila. Pero ayon sa mga eksperto, ang West Philippine Sea ay hindi ito pag-aari o wala nagmamay-ari nito kundi ito ay lahat ay nagtatalo kung sino dapat ang magmamay-ari nito. Wala. Hanggang sa dulo nito, magtatalo lamang. Pero ang pinag-uusapan dito ay traditional fishing ground na dapat ay open sa lahat ng neighbor country na malapit dito yung pinapayagan ang pangingisda at hindi pinipigilan kung sino man ang mangingisda sa saan mang kala, uh, kalapit, bansa, kalapit bansa ang mangingisda dito dahil ito ay tinatawag na o consider na traditional fishing ground at bago natin simula itong panunod natin dito sa video na to na interview sa isang American colony traitor na si Sas Rogando Sasot ay please naman huwag makalibot mag-subscribe, mag-like at mag-share. At pakihit ang all notification bell para updated kayo sa namang video yung isyo sa ating bansang sinilangan na ating minamahal. Fantastic. Okay, so you know, normally when uh, an issue around the West Philippine Sea comes up, when something blows up, the talking heads we get tend to all say the same thing, which is China is wrong, uh, you know, we need to exert uh, our, uh, assert our um, sovereignty, etc., etc. So we, they all kind of agree on the same things. Um, which uh, I don't know has uh, gotten us anywhere. So we decided to bring you in tonight because I remember in the time of President Duterte, you were actually quite critical of the arbitration ruling and you posted uh, a number of things about that ruling, which some of them uh, which were debunk debunked by Vera Foss. But in any case, the reason we're talking to you tonight is uh, what are we missing here? I mean, none of the... It, if, if anything, it feels like the incidents over at the West Philippine Sea are even escalating. So, what's missing in this picture? But what's missing is the right solution. That's why it's escalating. Because if you have the right solution, then it should not be escalating. So, as simple as that. Um, well, not so much about people debunking what I have said. No, it was not properly debunked. And I was uh, being given a chance to reply. But we have to go back. I agree with them that we do have... Uh, I have agreement with them that we do have to protect the rights of our fishermen in Scarborough Shore. Pero the language I'm using is different from them. Uh, and the language I'm using actually comes from the South China Sea arbitral decision. And as uh, perhaps not, not, a lot, not a lot of Filipino knows na noong nag-file tayo ng arbitration case noon sa uh, The Hague, ang ating ipinaglaban ay ang traditional fishing rights ng ating mga mangingisda. We didn't fight for Scarborough Shoal because it's part of our exclusive economic zone. We fought for the traditional fishing rights of our fishermen. At magkaiba itong lingwahe sa international law. And I believe that this was a brilliant tactic uh, used by our um, legal team. You know, one, I think one of the shining moments of, of the decision. Why? Because traditional fishing rights are vested rights and these are held by private individuals uh, even in the event that uh, Scarborough, that the sovereignty of Scarborough Shoal was decided to be uh, with China, uh, the traditional fishing rights of our um, people around Scarborough Shoal has to be respected. So the the Scarborough Shoal, as according to the South China Sea arbitration, is a traditional fishing grounds of Filipinos, Chinese, and other nationalities. So the decision, um, if we really believe in the wisdom of the South China Sea arbitration, then our language must flow from 
the language of the decision. Why are we talking about that it's part of our exclusive economic zone when in the South China Sea arbitration, we fought for the Scarborough Shoal on the basis of the traditional uh, fishing rights of our fishermen. So we have to go from there. And I believe that if we actually work on that, from that uh, uh, argument, we would have a better solution and sustainable agreement with China. Because we, we, we both agree that these are traditional fishing uh, grounds. No, it's, uh, History cannot, uh, uh, we cannot deny history and of course by virtue of geography that, you know, the fishermen of China, Philippines, and other and other coastal states of the South China Sea are actually fishing in, in Scarborough Shoal. But for me, in Scarborough Shoal, I think uh, what should be prioritized is that um, harmonization of the tra traditional fishing rights of Chinese and Filipino fishermen. Actually, let me correct you there. Did you say that the, the 2016 ruling does not actually decide rule on the sovereignty? Mm -hmm. The sovereignty is still up in the air, right? So that's part of the problem because well, China's claiming it and we're claiming it too. So the sovereignty yeah, but, but, is still but, up in the air. Um, what yeah. I remember was that the arbitration ruling said that China blocking the shoal violated international mm. law. So yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So in that sense, though, uh, it, it does play into the traditional fishing grounds. Um, uh, well, solution, right? Well, well, let me just, well, let me just stop you there. No, We have to be very clear of what is the South China Sea arbitration decision. It is a declaratory judgment. It is not an injunction. If you would like to have uh, to, to make China do something, you have to file another uh, arbitration case that would actually, um, you know, make, make China do something, but it would be fruitless as the first one. So we have to proceed from here because it is the best uh, the best route that mm. is to harmonize the traditional fishing rights of both Filipino fishermen and Chinese fishermen. So when you say the wrong solutions, we're looking at the wrong solutions, what would you have mm. this administration do that wasn't done in the previous administration? Well, the, pro the problem is we ha we are two entirely different countries when it, when it comes to continuity. You know, that the uh, People's Republic of China has continuity in its policy. And in our country, we change president every six years. So that means the foreign policy changes every six years. We have to have a, if we would like to negotiate with China uh, and to, to harmonize our traditional fishing rights, which actually uh, recognized by the South China Sea arbitration, you know, the, the Chinese issue. It's in paragraph 806, mm -hmm. no, 805 of the South China Sea arbitration that both uh, Chinese and Filipino fishermen have traditional fishing rights in the Scarborough Shoal. So what we need to do is let's go back to the negotiating table and this was also the advice of one of the judges of uh, the South China Sea arbitration, that's Judge Rudiger Wolfram in November 2021. He emphasized that the South China Sea is an enclosed sea and under UNCLOS, you know, an enclosed sea has a different kind of law. And in international law, you know, the special law overrides the general law. We're still, we're still talking about UNCLOS in terms of general law. We have to talk about it in terms of the specific law applicable to the South China Sea, which is an enclosed sea. And according to Article two, um, Article uh, 221 to 222, if I'm not mistaken, you know, um, coastal states States bordering an enclosed and semi-enclosed sea have the duty to coordinate their rights because yung mga yung kanilang mga karapatan and and responsibilities are indivisible in the context of a semi-enclosed and enclosed sea such as the South China Sea. Right, sa so uh, etong issue na in, uh, in particular this latest one no is naglagay yung China ng barrier hinarangan nila yung bukana mm -hmm. ng Scarborough Shoal pinutol ng Coast Guard as per the instruction mm. of President Marcos. Uh, what do you make of mm. this? Uh, would this not be fighting for the rights, for our traditional fishing rights? Do you think it's a little bit too hard or too harsh? 
Well, I think, you know, from, from the surface, uh, if we're going to look at the position of China and the Philippines, they are doing something in accordance to their position. China did that because it believes that it has sovereignty over there, and the Philippines uh, did that because, according to the Philippines, it has sovereignty over there. That is expected. But the thing is, we are approaching this issue on positions. Hmm. You know, in, in negotiations, you have to negotiate based on interests. And we have coinciding interests. You know, we have mutual interests. And that is the preservation of the fishing ground so that we all, we both benefit from it. So, I guess we have to go back, no, um, to, to the negotiating table and we have to approach this scientifically. We have to approach it from an ecological point of view, especially on determining the sink and the source, you know, uh, um, cycle of the Scarborough Shoal. Kasi I, I, I believe that inside the shoal, diyan talaga nag-debrief yung mga isda. Mrs. No? Um, given, uh, given the latest developments and the destruction of the coral reefs, do you think we are aligned uh, when it comes to the interest in preserving hmm. that uh, as a fishing ground? Hmm. Kasi sinasabi well, nila na ito yung prelude, yung ginagawa ng China doon ay prelude sa pag, ano nila, paggawa nila ng artificial islands. Whereas tayo naman, well, they, uh, fishing ground yun para sa atin. Well, if they create an artificial island there, then, then they destroy the fishing ground of their fishermen as well. So that is not a rational move for China to do. Do we believe that China that has lifted 800 million, million of, of its people in one generation is an irrational country? So, so you I don't think, think that they to. did, the, you don't think they, they were the ones responsible for the destruction of the coral reefs there? Well, I... I don't have the facts with me, no? Then if there is really a destruction of coral reefs there, then the rational thing to do is to launch a joint investigation. Mm -hmm. I think that is happening right now, Sas. Sas, uh, when you say dapat tayo bumalik sa negotiating table, I think parang ilang years, mm. uh, dekada na nga yata tayo, no? Uh, na nasa negotiating table, but uh, nothing That's is incorrect. happening. Uh -huh. That's incorrect. Go ahead. There were, no there were no negotiations being conducted. If there are negotiations being conducted, then we, you should, you know, the press, the journalists should demand the DFA to at least provide you the progress reports of this negotiation. So we cannot we cannot assume that there are negotiations or that there were ongoing negotiations without actually presenting at least the progress reports of these negotiations. But as now we cannot say that there are negotiations because there are no progress reports being presented to the public. But the president went there, to China. This, uh, I there were believe talks, this year. I guess, there not talks. formal negotiations, yeah. but there were a lot of talks. Uh, not just mm -hmm. talks are different from negotiations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. the, I, guess, I guess Sean's point is that we've been talking to them it's not like we're stonewalling yes, Beijing, so. right so there have been talks yes. doors are open uh, there's dialogues there's diplomats you know working behind the scenes trying mm. to smooth things over uh, you know they may not necessarily talk to us and in fact some we have spoken off the record with some of the diplomats and we know that they're trying to you know uh, come to a mutual agreement about these issues but then, of course it's a very t uh, difficult one I, I, I do I do not you know I am mm. a um, you know I'm a I'm a scholar I don't just rely on talks I have to see the actual progress reports of these uh, negotiations if there are it's so easy to do that tell us when did you go there what what was you don't need to reveal everything on what what is being talked about but if I can remember it clearly during the time of President Duterte, um, there were actually, uh, actually it was your channel who interviewed the fisherman, I think, I don't know if it's your channel or the government's channel who interviewed the fisherman there that uh, when during Duterte's time, you know, they were allowed again to fish in uh, in Scarborough Shoal, but not inside because inside the Scarborough Shoal, um, uh, that's where the fish uh, breed. So that's why we have to go back, no? We have mm. to, we have to, 
conduct proper negotiation and then we have to ensure uh, that what we are going to talk about and what we are going to agree on will have continuity on our side because we have a problem when in terms to foreign policy continuity given the structure of our government that doesn't allow us to have continuous policy implementation. Right. Mm -hmm. So does that so, mean that you don't agree with the foreign policy of the current administration and you would like to see the former uh, administration's foreign policy continue on? Um, what, you, you talk, well, you're talking about continuity. Well, well, uh, uh, until until someone present to me an academic study that proves that their uh, policy actually works, then I will side with them. But as far as uh, my academic studies on international nego negotiation is concerned, it is well established that bilateral negotiation is the most efficient uh, route to go in order to resolve a conflict and if you add a third party to the conflict that's not involved then the negotiation and the conflict will actually last longer yeah all right at yung nga na natin ang depensa ni sas rugando sasot patungkol dito sa isyu ng scarborough show or west philippines kung sino ba talaga nagmamayari walang pinakamaganda ditong solusyon kundi sit on the table negotiation magkaiba kasi ang pagitan ng negosyasyon sa pag-uusap lamang. Kasi sa pag-uusap lamang o talking ay ngawa-ngawa. Pero pag sa negosyasyon ay doon ang masinsinang usapan kung paano ba mag-share sa anong meron dyan sa West Philippine Sea o Scarborough Show. At sinabi ni Sas, Sas Urgando, there's no better solution but negotiation. Negotiation, negotiation. At bago natin tapusin tong aking video na isinare sa inyo, ay please naman, huwag makalimot mag-subscribe, mag-like at mag-share. At pakihit ang all notification bell para maging updated kayo sa anumang video ang aking i-upload. Maraming salamat.